What's up, Green family? How y'all doing? I hope everybody had a fabulous day. Man, let me tell you. My day? How was my day, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Crazy! Oh, my gosh. It was so busy. Oh, my goodness. It was so, so busy. But I already told you I love that. I've been hopping all day. Your girl has been hopping around all day. All day. <laughs> Color purple. If y'all know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment below. Y'all know I love that movie. I said that was my favorite movie. I referenced Color Purple probably for so many different things in my life. So, how was y'all's day? I asked that already. What did you learn? Did you learn anything that you felt was especially valuable? Hmm? Today, I learned to pace myself. <laughs> my lesson was you have to pace yourself because if you don't, you will be show sure enough worn out you feel me you will be show sure enough worn out there ain't nothing wrong with being worn out but let me be worn out for the, for the right reason so anyway i'm headed out not necessarily home um there's two things i think another um another video that i want to do i only did one haul but i mean i really didn't to me that wasn't really a haul it was probably more just, I guess, just showing y'all what I bought at the grocery store. I want to do a real haul, you know, where I can talk to y'all about prices and stuff like that. Um, so I like, um, since I started back eating dairy, because I had to stop eating dairy for a minute because I was so grossed out after I saw what the health. I was just like, oh my God, pus. That's all I kept hearing is pus. And I'm like, Oh my God, it just messed up my stomach real bad. Anytime I got ready to eat anything that had, uh, it was dairy, it, it just grossed me out real bad. I'm, I'm over it now. I guess I will be if I stop talking about it, huh? <laughs> so, anyway, I started back eating dairy. Y'all know I'm lacto-vegetarian. I don't, that's the only animal uh, product or byproduct that I consume. I don't consume any other animal products. Um, But I said that because I eat I can't even remember the brand there's a yogurt that I eat and it it has the like the yogurt on one side and all the little goodies on the other side and you dump it dump the goodies into the yogurt and stir it up I know there's a few uh, brands on the market that does that but um, I can't remember what's which one specifically I eat and it's I like it I, I usually get the ones they have five different kinds that have nuts in them. They have one that has peanuts. They have one that has almonds, cashews, pistachios, and hazelnuts. So there are different flavors. I think the one that has hazelnuts almost has like a coffee flavor to it. And then um, there's one that has, uh, I want to say the one that has pistachios is like nuts over something. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway. I really like it. I haven't, I bought some. I gave the rest of it, I think like uh, three of them that I had to my daughter. Um, and so I have to go back to the grocery store to get groceries and I was going to get some more yogurt. But my boss is actually the person who got me started eating that particular kind of yogurt because there have been a couple times when I was in her office and she was going in on that yogurt and she made it seem so good. Oh my goodness. I was getting hungry and wanting some of her yogurt just sitting there watching her eat. <laughs> it was, she made it look so delicious. So, but she does, Faye is the brand that she likes the most and she does, um, she's a real big uh, blueberry uh, person. <clears throat> I'm not really a fan of blueberries. I don't like the texture of the berry in my mouth. Uh, whether it's fresh or in yogurt or whatever, I, I don't, I don't really care for it. <clears throat> um, and then uh, there's another flavor that she does, and it's, I think she said that it is. 
did she say mango? No. I think something raspberry. I'll, I'll know when I get to the store. Um, but I wanted to surprise her. Because she's been so good to me. I wanted to surprise her. Because she told me this story about her husband eating her, her last yogurt. And she was not happy. <laughs> so I wanted to surprise her as just kind of a little um, just because gift. Um, and buy her um, like maybe a dozen of the the Faye blueberry. And then the other flavor that she likes. Um, but the funny thing is we started talking about yogurt today. And because I was, she said, you know, she was about to have her snack, and I said, oh, you got your fire today, and she said, yeah. She and then she said, um, another one of our coworkers actually was eating a yogurt is mango citrus, and she got it from Trader, it's the Trader Joe's brand, and so she was able to sample that, and she really liked it. She said, the funny thing is, you can't tell that it's, uh, no. What did I say? Mango? It's avocado citrus. And she said the funny thing is you can't even tell avocado is in there. Because it doesn't, it's not like uh, guacamole or anything like that. And it doesn't even look like that. She said it has a really pretty, some kind of green. I can't remember how she described it. But she thought it was appealing. And she's real funny about her food like I am. But she thought the color was inviting, you know, and she said the taste was really good. And so she wants to get some, but there's no Trader Joe's nearby her. Well, there's a Trader Joe's a block away from where I live. So I'm thinking about doing like a mixture, doing her like a little gift basket and a mixture of the blueberry and the other flavor, Faye, and then going to get the Trader Joe's avocado citrus and... Uh, yeah, that's it because she was talking about another brand that um, that she tried and she didn't really care for it. I think it was by YoPlay, and she was talking about you know the main reason she got it was because she liked the little. She said the Yo this YoPlay, it was some type of French yogurt, and it reminded her of just a regular Yo YoPlay. But she liked it because of the, the containers that came in. She said the containers are like a glass or something like that. And so she thought it was uh, really cute. So she figured, you know, even if she don't like the yogurt, that the containers was worth, you know, picking the yogurt up. So um, she, done really, she didn't really, it wasn't God awful to her, but it just reminded her a lot of the, um, the regular yo play so she didn't see the big fascination of it so anyway <clears throat> so that's what i'm thinking about doing for my boss is going to get her like a little you know a little assortment of her favorite yogurts and then doing like a little gift basket and surprising her with it so yeah i think i'm gonna do that but anyway other than that your girl is good everything is copacetic and um not really a whole lot going on. Uh, I am uh, I am let me see. Ooh, tomorrow's the first. So me and the hubby, we have to do our uh, Vlogmas video. We have to do that tonight because I got to get that edited and ready to upload tonight. And then I have to do my um, my other, my day two video and um, I can't remember what I was going to do for day three. But, you know, I, I'm not going to tell all the videos. But the reason, I already know what I wanted to do for day one. Because, you know, like I mentioned it, uh, tomorrow is my husband, uh, is, is our uh, 28th wedding anniversary. Um, and so we're going to be doing, we've already been together for 28 years. But we've been married 28 years on December 1st. So, um I want to do, uh, want us to do, you know, just a little short video, and then um, I have another one already geared up for tomorrow, and then I have to kind of figure out what I'm going to do uh, for the rest of the rest of the month. So I'm excited about doing Vlogmas because uh, I, you know, I wasn't 
uh, recording and I wasn't, you know, I was on YouTube, but not as a, as a content creator. I was on YouTube, uh, you know, just somebody watching videos. So I can't wait to, um, to do vlogmas. I think it's, you know, it's going to be exciting. So these people are so crazy. We come around that little loop. I just came around and they weaving in and out of people's lanes and everything with no consideration for the fact that somebody is driving next to you. They start coming all over the line. Okay. So, what kind of um, weird things have happened to y'all, like just in general? And I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. I never really understood how heavy your tongue can get. And the reason I say that is because, like, I started eating ice. Excuse me. I started eating ice as a way to help me get my liquids in. And so, you know, while I'm uh, at my desk or whatever, sometimes a phone will ring, and it might be some one of my coworkers, or it might be, you know, somebody calling in on the help desk or whatever. And my I my uh <laughs> my tongue would be so heavy with uh, liquid you know because when I don't drink I notice that my tongue doesn't feel heavy like that but it'll be so heavy with liquid but it also be numb from eating the ice and I mean I'll be going in on the ice because we got that nice pebble sized ice like Sonic is really good and uh, somebody will call and I go to say my name and I can't get my tongue to do what it's supposed to do so I'm like I don't know what they hearing but what I heard don't sound like Tony <laughs> It is so funny. It is hilarious. And so, even though I, t you know, I'm sitting there eating ice, you never know when the phone is going to ring or when you have to talk to somebody. And so, I, you know, and I never, I don't think about it until I'm actually have, until I actually have to talk to somebody. 